Now the matchup tomorrow, Duke without Carlos Boozer. Adjustments will be made by Coach K and staff. Be a tough one. Carlos Price oh. with the pump and went underneath the defensive uh, arm and kissed it off the glass. Well, moving Hollis Price back over to point guard. Production, 21 points against Colorado Wednesday night. Johnny's a lot more comfortable there, isn't he? He really is. He was solid through the early part of this season all the way to the first couple of games in the Big 12. And to get his ball club going, Kelvin Sampson had to put in J.R. Raymond at the point guard. But Hollis Price, when he gets the ball back, he can run the show and is explosive. Good outside shooter. If you play him too closely, that's what he'll do. Six turnovers now, Cowboys. Nolan Johnson, not there. And Andre Williams skies for the rebound. Johnson in quickly, they get the double on him. They can double down low, not worry about Andre Williams in a jump shot. They have to be aware of Williams cutting to the basket there. Good hand for the OU defense. Clock is at 13. Down to 12. A runner won't go. Aaron McGee gets the rebound. Six shots, six turnovers for the Cowboys. McGee unlucky. That thing did everything but go down. Sanders on the way. You know, not the shot the Cowboys want. Melvin Sanders did not, does not shoot a lot of threes. Only 30% three-point shooter, but you can get that type of shot anytime in your offense. Terrence Crawford's going to come in and uh, spell him. You want, you want to guess who's coming out, I guess, huh? Haywood, the hero of the Missouri game a week ago Monday night. And off Kel the mark on his in a 30-second timeout. And Kelvin Sampson kind of rolls his eyes with the shot selection. So now they've changed it to a full timeout. Oh, you by and for those of you who are not from this part of the world, any time Oklahoma and Oklahoma State get together, they simply call it the Bedlam Series. And it doesn't matter which sport that they are going to uh, go on a field or in a gymnasium and compete with and for. Haywood goes to the bench. You can see him sitting there to get a breather. Darian Selby, number 24, junior out of West Memphis, Arkansas, comes into the lineup for the Sooners. Active player on the offensive glass. Must block him out. Stepped on the end line. Turnover number seven. And you have to believe, Ron, the challenge for the Oklahoma guards after the game in Stillwater, where they were handed uh, quite a loss, and Maurice Baker and Victor Williams had their way. Hollis Price, Kelly Newton come into this ballgame. Focus. Not only defensively, but trying to score some points on this Oklahoma State duo. Kelly Newton, his second three of the night. And what a beautiful stroke he has. Watched him in warm-ups. Probably hit about 20 straight from that spot. OU faithful up and trying to make just as much noise as he can to help on this run. Yanzian, who has not contributed any points as yet, working inside against Darren McGee and... The foul is on McGee. Of Kelly Newton in his senior season, what you can't do, Maurice Baker did. He gambled. You don't want to let a shooter get his feet set, eyes on the target. This guy will not miss many. At over 46% this year, three-point line. Selby. For some reason, the clock is not running. McGee knocks it down, and there's nobody at the scorer's table is making any motions, but we played 30 seconds here, and the clock's not running. Yeah, 13 4 so well, now they run it. That's not bothered these Sooners fans, right? They're loving it. They want it to last a little longer. Williams off the mark, tipped inside, and they battle for it, and Oklahoma basketball. Terrence Crawford went for it hard, but went into the table and lost it. Well, the Sooners right now step quicker. The emotion. All right, let's see. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. We did. We played 20, 25 yeah, seconds easy. of basketball there without a clock on. 
second turnover against the Sooners as Heskett will come into the lineup and Nolan Johnson will go to the bench. The interesting thing is neither bench said anything and neither did the scorer's table. I would say something about the intensity on both sidelines. Not, not worried about that scoreboard up above. Jason, good screen, good roll. Out of Moscow, Idaho. Shattered the backboard on the reopening of Gallagher Iba. Heskin. Well, he's a senior. He doesn't have to call. Uh, little class action for him. Oklahoma, four a four from beyond the arc. Pretty good rebound there by Johnny Gilbert. He went up and grabbed it with one arm. Price for three. Let me brick that one. Pretty good pace here. The pace that guards love to play. Victor Williams, Maurice Baker, Hollis Price, Kelly Newton. They love this pace because it's up and down. They get shots. I'm not sure the coaches like this pace unless know, you make jump shots. I know the big fellas do. Heskett against Crawford. Oh, good Steve. Baker. What terrific anticipation from the weak side by Maurice. Heskett was so close to the hoop, but he's a very unselfish player. Probably should have put up the runner. Newton for three. No. Uh, you know what? It looked like he may have had his elbow tapped a little bit. Timeout. 20 to 14, Oklahoma. 